Good evening and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. I hope that you guys are doing okay. As you come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. And I hope you had a very Merry Christmas, okay? Santa Claus was really good to me this year, okay? Santa Claus is always really good to me. But Santa was very, very generous to me this year. But of course, I was real good to everybody too, okay? Let me just set the record straight. I'm, I'm always... I'm always really good and I like to buy good gifts. Okay. I like to buy good gifts because I like good gifts. So I made sure that I did that. But I think because, you know, I never, even when people ask me what I want, I go, whatever, whatever, you know, you want. I wish I had asked, but I asked people, you know, my kids and, and everybody else. I was like, you know, if you're going to get me something, the only thing that I really like, because I, I I got everything I, I want. Like, I didn't want no clothes, but of course, you know, they got me some clothes. I was like, please don't give me no clothes. Don't give me no shoes, though. You know, um, if if you just got to get me something, you know, I, don't, I got too many of those. I was like, you know, I like, you know, diamond bracelets and give me something that I can use, like, for my uh, private investigative company whatever you think, I, you know, stuff like that, stuff that I could put into my office or um, that I use for one of my businesses or my production company, you know, something like that. But, you know, I was like, but whatever you give me, I'm going to be happy though, because I'm not choosy, you know. Um, and they did just that, you know, they got me, I didn't know what they was going to get me. I just, I love, but I love giving gifts and it's, it's always so awesome to me when I give, you know, when I go buy gifts and people are really surprised or whatever, you know, because I just kind of listen to them normally. And, I, and I'm going to get into my subject. I always buy my daughters. I always just buy up everything, you know, all of the pink stuff that Victoria's Secret's got. And so my daughter's like, Mama, you've been getting us that every year. We got every tight, every color, every shirt that they got. We don't want it no more. I said, really? They was like, yeah. So um, they, I ended up getting, going to some boutiques. They was like, we like boutique stuff, mama. They like that sheen stuff. I, I don't mean no harm. I just refused to buy off a of sheen. I just refused to buy that cheap shit off a of sheen. I know they like it, but I just refused to do it. So I found some cute boutiques and got them some cute stuff, okay? But anyways, you guys, um, I hope that you guys are doing okay. Make sure you hit the, the like button, okay? But I wanted to talk about, but anyways, Merry Christmas. I wanted to talk about Finesse Two Times. Now, y'all know that I'm crazy about Finesse Two Times. Finesse Two Times is a Memphian. Finesse Two Times is just blazing, okay? And it's easy for me to like Finesse Two Times because, you know, I know a lot of people say, but I thought you loved Dolph. I do. I love Dolph a lot. But, you know, Finesse Two Times, when Finesse Two Times and Young Dolph was into it, they was never really into it. It was like second a secondhand situation where, you know, he kind of took it on being, you know, being friends with somebody else. But I think Vanessa two times since he sat in jail, he's had the opportunity to grow. I saw an interview that he did, and he spoke very recently. He did he spoke very highly of Young Dolph, and so it makes it easier, you know, since it, it's been a lot of years in between that for um, people to um, and Dolph's fans to love him. Also, you know, I want to see him do well, especially he ain't been out dissing Dolph. He ain't on that. He on something else and he on making money. OK, and it's funny because I love a song that Finesse has with um, this rapper from out of Memphis that they killed named um, Rich Lord. And, you know, Rich Lord was an up and coming artist. Rich Lord was very handsome. He was very um, smart. It's easy to remember Rich Lord because of his drive, just because of his intelligence. You know, I was reading that Rich Lord got a full scholarship to a, a Christian brother, but, you know, for some reason, the gang life was very intriguing to him. 
And Christian Brothers is a very prestigious school. It's not easy to get in there. Um, and he got a full scholarship and he was a very, somebody was telling me he taught himself how to um, speak Arabic but if you listen to his interviews, he was just way before his time. He just he was just a, a genius, right? And it's unfortunate what happened to Rich Lord because I think Rich Lord was like Rich Lord was like the chief of the vice lords. And I later found out when I started doing some research on Rich Lord because I remember Rich Lord was my Facebook friend, and a lot of people. This is when I first started doing TV on Comcast, like in 2014, 2015. And he would like my stuff and he would send me messages. I didn't even know anybody had killed him, honestly. And so until recently, and so he would send me messages and I, and he used to put, don't think I'm green. He used to always send messages cause he wants to come on to my show. And then he would always put all praises to the Lord. And I would always like it. And I would go, you know, that's so cool. You know, a young man giving praises to the Lord. I know he was, they was praising some, some kind of other Lord. But anyways, when I figured it out, I was like, oh my God, they, they talking about some gang stuff. I deleted them off of my page, but I later found out that Rich Lord grew up around the area <clears throat> where my aunt lived around Tulane. Um, my dad grew up when, after they moved from North Memphis, they kind of, but they lived in houses around the area and my aunt and my other half of my other side of my family grew up around the area. And I found out that Rich Lord's brother, his older brother, Freddie B used to always be in my aunt's house with my cousins. Y'all, they was into some stuff. Okay. And I remember when I was, you know, just researching them some months back on, on YouTube, I mean, on, on um, social media, I was like, my God, you know, I really, I hate that I didn't give this young man a chance, but I didn't know that. I'm talking about as far as letting him come on to my show and talk about his music and stuff, but I just did not know at that time. I really, I regret that because looking at his interviews and stuff now, he was really a, a before his time. And I feel like he was just, he was trying to get out of the streets. He was, he was looking for an opportunity so he could get out of the streets, but he always talked about bringing the little dudes with him. You know, he just, he, he was in the wrong thing, but he, he had the right type of intelligence. You know, and I remember, you know, seeing some comments, you know, my cousin was on his Facebook page that he still has up on, um, because I think he's been, they killed him like four years ago. And I called my cousin, I said, Reggie, did you know Rich Lord? I said, yeah, I raised him. I said, oh Lord, poor guy, didn't stand a chance, okay? Because I know my cousins, right? But um, I'm talking about as far as being into bad stuff, because child, please. But anyways, Rich Lord was killed, Okay. And for that two times, and Rich Lord was very close, okay? Um, and I think when Rich Lord was killed, for that two times was in jail. Well, the rumor is, even when I was talking to my cousin, my cousin, is is a little, he's a little older than me, so I know he's a little older than Rich Lord. But the, where Rich Lord's mom lived, Reggie and them lived in that area of White Haven too. He lived even closer um to uh rich lord them so of course they would know each other um i guess reggie's like the big homie that rich lord and them looked up to also but um i i asked him i said reggie you know i've been doing some research on on rich lord i said and you know his i was listening to another youtuber which was player Cole say his 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 murder is still unsolved and he was like yeah because yeah he said, yeah, you know, he went to a club and he said what happened was he didn't even want to go. He didn't even want to go to the club that night. And he said that um, he was in the bed sleep and his partner kept calling him and got him up out the bed and he still started not to go. He laid in the bed and started not to go. And he just kept calling him until he got him on up out the bed and he went to the club. He said, now, 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 um, they call him D. I believe they call him D something. I don't know. But he, he called him D. He said, but you know, D no, no the way we do it. You don't, 
you know, he should have turned around when he got to the door. He said, they normally can take their gun in, but when he told him he couldn't bring his gun in, that was the time for him to turn around. He said, and we always felt like he was set up, okay? Um, because he, I don't know what they said to him to make him feel comfortable enough <clears throat> to go into the club. It was weird to me to keep calling somebody. It could have been a coincidence until they get up and come to a club and he go to his death. And so, um, you know, he got into the club, got into a fight. And, and evidently, they claim that they was not letting anybody in the club with their weapon. But it seems like to me they just didn't let Rich Lord in the club with his weapon, okay? Because Rich Lord lost his life um, because his op and them had. I, I guess it was his op because according to some people, it wasn't his op. It was some of his people that did it, allegedly. You know, they set him up. Who, who that was, I don't know. But somebody... That was because he was head of the gang, and I don't know if it was a situation where somebody wanted him gone so that they could take his position. I don't know, but you know, hey, it seems to me, and I'm not saying that finesse two times isn't in the gang, but it seems to me that they're trying to do that because I, if I'm not mistaken, the club that Rich Lord was killed at, I'm hearing was Yo Gotti's cousin's club, okay. Rich Lord, had, you know, because they wouldn't let him in the game. He was so smart. He had started building his own situation and going the independent route. I digress. But anyways, let me show you this with, with um, <clears throat> um, finesse two times. I know I kind of, y'all know I have to, I get into talking about a whole lot of stuff, but that's why y'all love me, right? But let's, let's, let's go there. Some shit been going around. Nigga talking about I ran off with some money out of Tampa, Florida. You know what I'm saying? Nigga talking about I ran off with some money and shit. You know what I'm saying? It been brought to my attention that I need to address this shit. You know what I'm saying? Before this shit get too far. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of promoters and shit calling. You know what I'm saying? And asking like, oh, is he going to show up? Is he going to show up? He like, yeah, I'm going to show up for that motherfucking bacon. You tripping. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming for that motherfucking cash flow. But this is my thing right here. This is exactly how the situation went. And you know, if you one of my day one fans, man, if you one of the motherfuckers who really fuck with me, you know what I'm saying, who really, really fuck with me, then you already know. I done made this speech before. I done already said this shit before. But it's like, I got to keep on saying this shit. So I'm going to say this shit again. This is that, all right. Now I'm going to start from the root. Y'all know I'm on federal probation, man. I'm on federal probation, right? All right, so. I can't move a certain way. I can't move like other rappers move, like. A lot of promoters who book shows and shit, they be trying to handle me like they handle all the other rappers. But see what y'all ain't understanding is a lot of them niggas ain't been through what I've been through. Them niggas, them niggas, my situation real fragile, real, 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 really different than niggas. Niggas doing all their talking and shit, but I'm really going through it. Like, I'm really. I really got to watch out for the feds and the ops. Like, all my shit true, like, what I'm talking about. Like, so, like, the feds really watching me, really on me. So, like, when I pull up to the club, I get my back in. I expect for you to take care of your business, bro. Like, I'm a man. You a man. I expect for you to take care of your business. You don't need to be drunk taking care of your business. 
Then you be taking care of your motherfucking business. I ain't no way. Boom, I pull up at the club. I pull up at the club. Boom. I jump out. Boom. I got my cab. Boom. He didn't already cab me out. I got my back in. Boom. I jump out. I'm like, what's the move? I get to the front door. Nigga, y'all talking about petting me and all my men down. And then your security acting super tough. He extra tough. You know what I'm saying? He tried to come through my security. My security. You ain't going to help him. Hold on. No, this ain't that. What he supposed to do. He did what he supposed to do. Like any other man would. Nigga, you breaking security. Nigga, you see your security. Watch out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, respectfully, though. You know? Niggas got the, you know what I'm saying? Doing all that weak-ass shit. So I jump back in, in the tank. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, y'all get y'all shit together. I'm finna pull off. Because y'all got to understand. <sighs> I'm a young black Amer Af African American, man. I just spent 15 years of my life, man. Behind bars. I'm 30 years old, man. They ain't trying to do nothing but fry me, man. The face that y'all looking at, the nigga that y'all talking to on this live right now, they want to fry me. I'm one of the niggas they want to fry. I've not already been on their radar for years. I done got away with so much. Y'all don't see me run with a clique of niggas. Y'all don't see me run. Y'all don't see me. Y'all see me rep for this game. I rep the fire because it's in my heart. Rest in PJ Mark. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't run with no clique of niggas. I don't, everything I do, been quiet as killed. But ever since the feds start fuck with me, shit been coming back up. So I'm just letting y'all know, man, the feds be watching me. They fucking with me. So I'm watching how I'm moving. The first thing I asked the label for off the meat rack, I ain't asked for no money, nigga. The first thing I asked for was a bulletproof truck off the meat rack. Because I know I got to move like the president now. I got to move accordingly. You know what I'm talking about? I know niggas hating. I know niggas jealous. I know niggas envy. I know niggas feel like I own them. Fuck them. Put a dick in your ear. Fuck what you heard. Straight up. I ain't got nothing for no nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, to all the promoters, once again, man, man, help me help you, man. I understand it's all about money. You trying to get your money. You trying to take care of your people. Man, hats off. Hats off. I salute you. You a real nigga. I fuck with it. But goddamn, bro. Goddamn, bro. I been locked up all my life, huh? Let me let me be, huh? Let me, let me eat, huh? Let me be free, huh? Not a 12-year-old, two five-year-old, huh? Let me raise my kid. You niggas been out here, man. Fucking and sucking and faking and flogging and stunning and fronting. You niggas been out here doing this shit all these years, man. Let me come. Let me sit out here, man. Let me. I ain't never been. I ain't been out of jail no longer. I ain't never been out of jail for a, no longer than 11 months since I was 15 years old, man. Since I was 15 years old, man. Man, let me live, man. To all you hating ass niggas, to all you broke ass niggas, to all you, you lame ass, clout chasing ass bitches. Man, let me live, man. I ain't trying to want to have to do you something. I ain't trying to want to have to do you something. But y'all provoking a nigga. Y'all pushing a nigga to the edge, dog. You know, pressure bug pipes, man. You feel me? And y'all, and y'all, and y'all just pushing a nigga to the edge, like, 
Man, come on, man. Let me be great, man. You hating that nigga, you envious that nigga, you jealous that, you sneak, sneak this and that nigga, you lame man, nigga, you wanna be a nigga, you niggas hating, I took off, that's what it is, nigga hate, see what it was, was. this is what it was, this is what it was, this is what it was, nigga didn't think I really was gonna take off, nigga didn't think I really was gonna take off either, don't think I'm sleep, man. You nigga really doubted me now. You nigga really doubted me now. You nigga really did that. You nigga really hated on me now. You nigga really thought I had all them years for real. That what you nigga really thought I had all them years, but I ain't have all them years though. But anyway, on to the promotion shit. Like. I respect all the promoters, man. Everywhere I've been, I had a promoter, man. I done had a promoter, I swear to God, on my kids two weeks ago. I had a promoter. This how about it, about it being he was. The nigga, the nigga booked me, I think, for 40 or 50,000. I can't remember verbatim. My flight got delayed, so I was going to miss the layover flight. Don't you know this nigga cold-blooded? Booked me a private jet and still gave me my back end. That's what you call doing good business. See, it ain't about being gangster no more, man. A nigga trying to do good business, man. A nigga trying to get some money and win, man. Nigga, I ain't trying to be on all that old shit no more. I've been there, done that, man. I don't know. Do your research, man. Shit, man. Look me up, man. I got paperwork and everything to prove my age case I didn't call, man. From juvenile to the county to the state to the feds, whatever. Nigga, say what they want to say. Like I said, put a dick in your ear and fuck what you heard. Niggas gonna say what they want to say. Niggas gonna hate. Nigga, that's just life. That's the universe. Positive and negative. It's just life. A niggas gonna hate. Some niggas gonna keep it real. Some niggas ain't. And we gotta understand that life wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't a good and a bad. Some people gonna speak good on you. Some people gonna speak bad on you. And that's just life. That's how this shit gonna go. It gonna go like that for me. It gonna go like that for Donald Trump. It's gonna go like that for the, for the rich, the poor, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's gonna go like that for everybody. They're gonna speak good on you, they're gonna speak bad on you. It's just up to you if you wanna let this shit bother you. That shit don't bother me. You say what they wanna say about me, but what you ain't gonna do is you ain't gonna lie on me though. You ain't gonna lie on me. And that's what motherfuckers been doing. You know what I'm saying? So just don't think a nigga can't get with it, man. I'm on a different type of time. I got a, I got a motto. I got a motto, and I'm finna get up out of this motherfucker, man. This is my motto. This is my motto right here. I don't want no problem with no nigga, and don't no nigga want no problem with me, man. I'm gonna say this shit one more time, man. I don't want no problem with no nigga, and don't no nigga want no problem with me. Lord, okay, y'all heard that. Me. What the hell is that? Okay. Y'all heard that. I let y'all listen to the whole interview. Okay. It seems like the me for this two times has quite a bit going on. Um, like I said, it, I mean, the word on the YouTube streets is is that he is having issues as far as Promoters are not wanting for him to bring his weapons in. Finesse, from my understanding, Finesse and Ritual was extremely close. So I'm sure Finesse is not going to um, allow what happened to Rich Lord to happen to him because that is a way of getting set up, okay, because it has happened before. We see why Rich Lord is not here, 
okay, because, you know, this particular time they would not let him bring his weapon in so that he or any of his people could protect him, okay, or, or, or something went on because, like I said, they're saying that his own people did it, which is why his case, because that was a club full of people which is why his case is still unsolved. You know, I, I don't know, but that's just a rumor, okay? Um, But are they trying to set Finesse two times up to take him out? I think Finesse two times is extremely smart. Uh, Finesse two times is, he's dealing with some stuff. Like I said, you can see that he's dealing with stuff. Uh, first of all, I always said from day one, that finesse two times never should have been to, uh, to, never should have been never well I, in my opinion i don't think it was a good idea for him to have been signed to to connected to to the label and the management company that he is connected to strictly because it's just it's so much country controversy that goes along with that and it's just it's just too many people that you know is is losing their lives, okay? Now, with Moneybag, Moneybag has gotten extremely quiet, but I always felt like Moneybag and them signed Finesse two times because Finesse two times is blazing. He had surpassed Moneybag, and that was a good way to keep their thumb on him, and I, I felt like that they sent J. Prince Jr. to finesse him into doing it, okay? Now, I know that Finesse Two Times has children and things of the nature. He did what he felt like was best for he and his family. But, I mean, like I said, he say his eyes are not closed. People thought that he was not going to blow up. That means a lot of the people that that um try to act like they like him, he knows that they're not really liking him. He know that they thought that he was not going to you know blow up. He wasn't going to do as well as he's doing. Instead, um, it was just his time. And so I, I just think that Finesse two times should just continuously play it safe. You know, Finesse is making, um, I'm sure he's making more money than what he's ever made. But um, there's always so much greed and evilness in the industry. He said he want to raise his children. And I believe Finesse is a fan of the show. Because my favorite thing is these dudes want to send these other little dudes out so they can and they, so they can stay out here and flex and flodge and fake like they father of the year, okay? And I just heard him say something similar to that, okay? But he wants to be out with his children. That's what he said. He want to make his money. And you could tell that Finesse just wants to make his money. That dude, everything he touched turns to platinum. If it ain't turned to platinum, it's, it's because somebody hating on him. Somebody lying because everything he touched turns to platinum, just like Young Dog. So that's something to watch. You know, we got to keep finesse two times in our prayers because, um, it, it, you know, hey, you know, I hope he don't drink lean because as I was saying on my video a few days back, what they doing is that, you know, they know the feds on them real tough. And finesse said the feds watching him, so it wouldn't be conducive for them to try to put nothing in his, I mean, do nothing to him. I'm talking about as far as shoot him or something like that. You know, they might try to put something in the weed, fentanyl or something like that. So he don't even need to smoke with nobody because somebody is ready to collect on an insurance policy. Okay. That's what it seems like to me, because why wouldn't you allow your talent, somebody that you booked uh, out your club for their people to bring in guns, you know damn well that but I'm sure finesse two times with the dudes that they got he got around them ain't gonna be in no club just looking for nobody to shoot or trying to start no fight. They know damn well that they want to bring in weapons to protect the talent. So why wouldn't they want them to do that? So it's definitely something with that, okay? But anyways, you guys, I want you guys, because I, I, I went on longer than I wanted to, because I could really get into this. But it seems like to me that they're trying to take Finesse out the same way that they did his friend Rich Lord. And Finesse ain't going because Finesse know how they took out Rich Lord, right? So I think Finesse should always keep people around him that he should trust and they need to stay strapped. 
he needs to see if any who who all got insurance policies on him. Okay. Make sure you know is is does does he own his masters? Okay, because did this just start since he signed all these damn contracts? Okay, so it's something to 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 look at. But you still y'all see what he put into the atmosphere? He said he knew that they didn't like him. They didn't even expect for him to blow up. He's very you know he speaks his mind. Okay, and I think he's trying to be humble, but I could tell that it's coming up. I don't know what his sign is, cause uh, you know when when people you get tired of people bullshit. Uh, when I when it's, it's sometimes I be wanting to go off on folks so bad, cause I get so sick of them, and I be trying to hold it down, and I get a tickle in my throat. It's, sometimes it's just hard to hold this stuff there, and you have to go ahead and let it out, and then you sleep good at night. Okay, so it seems like that with finesse is slowly coming out, but he's saying that he was like you know. And I don't think he's talking to the fans when he say you don't. I don't want no problems with nobody. Don't nobody want no problems with me. He ain't talking to the regular everyday damn people, his fans or nothing, because he don't, he's not in interaction with us. He's talking to some niggas around him. Okay, that's what he's doing. But um, I you know I just pray for him. I think he's staying over there in Houston. We already know that them folks is barbaric. Um. And then the ones that in Memphis ain't no better, you know, that he, you know, feel assigned to. Um, so he's got, he's really, cause he's, he's got vultures all the way around him. They surround it like a bunch of damn hyenas. Okay. They surround it. He's surrounded. So he's really got to double down on his praying life and definitely get people that strictly for him and that's not necessarily in cahoots with none of those other people because that's going to be it. Because these promoters and stuff, these clubs that won't let him bring his, uh, them bring their weapons in or whatever, these are the same damn clubs that these other people that he's been signed to has gone to their clubs and think they... They have relationships with the, these same people. Why in the hell won't they let their uh, their artists bring the weapons in? We've never heard of finesse two times people that's around him, his security or anything like that, uh, going into clubs, knocking shit over, shooting at folks or nothing like that. So, so they don't have a reason to have a concern. Okay. So I don't blame I don't blame, I don't blame finesse two times. If they, they don't want him to bring in anything that's going to protect him, just like Rich Lord should have did, he learned from Rich Lord's mistake, turn around at the damn door. Because I don't know who they got in this club waiting on me. And we all see now that they don't give a damn about killing folks. They'll do anything for some damn money. Especially if somebody has paid them to set it up. So that they can get 15, 20 million dollars in insurance, I give you 500 grand, I might give you a million. These folks will do anything for some money. Do you hear me? They ain't got no scruples about what they do for some damn money that they motherfucking asses ain't gonna spend. They they paying folks now. Some of these fools that's got money, they paying folks now. It ain't even it might not even have anything to do with insurance with some folks. I just don't want to see them. When Rich Lord was smart, Rich Lord could put a lot of stuff together. They kept hating on him and wouldn't allow him into the industry. That you know, all these dudes are street dudes. Who's crazier than black youngster? But you keep Rich Lord out because you say he a hardcore street dude. Gotti, because they say it was Gotti that was blackballing Rich Lord allegedly. Okay. But Rich Lord had a mind. Rich Lord was going to make his money. Rich Lord kind of put me in the mind of young Dolph. So you won't let me in. You keep, you, you, you trying to keep me out of the industry, the mainstream. He had an army behind him. So I'll go and you know he had the ladies behind him because he was tall and good looking. So I, he had an epiphany. I'll go try and do this independently and was going to do it. And then he goes to they say God cousin had a stake in that club. You know, I don't know. Allegedly. 
And this particular time, they don't let him bring his weapon in. After he, one of his friends, close friends, kept calling him. He was in the bed asleep. And just kept calling him until he, he talked him into getting up out of the bed and he went to his death. It's just something weird about it, okay? So I don't blame Finesse two times, but I definitely want to keep Finesse two times in prayer because I, I think Finesse is very talented and things of that nature. <clears throat> but please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also, if you would like to uh, donate to the channel, you could definitely do that via Cash App. I love you guys. I'll talk with you later.